Okay, number 10. Uh, which of the following is not part of a zoning analysis for a property? The use, FAR, easements, building heights. Uh, so first one you got to make sure is you know, use is pretty straightforward. That means, you know, is it a commercial use, is it a residential use, et cetera. Uh, FAR is floor area ratio. Um, it's not always called floor area ratio everywhere in the country, but I believe the exam still uses that term. Um, it's called FAR most places. Um, uh, and that idea is essentially a way to, to control scale of a project uh, by saying, okay, if the site is, say, uh, a thousand uh, square feet, which would be very tiny, but let's say it's a thousand square feet, uh, and the FAR was one, that means that you have the total, the total uh, square foot ability to build of 1,000 square feet of building because the FAR was one, so the floor area ratio. So it's the uh, area of the floor to the area of the site in a ratio. So if you have an FAR of 20, that means you can build a whole lot, right? You can build a skyscraper on that site. If you have an FAR of 0.2, that means you're going to have to have an awful lot of open land around your building. So FAR absolutely is part of a zoning analysis. Use is absolutely part of a zoning analysis. Uh, you know, can I put, um, if I have a residential district, can I put the um, uh, hazardous waste center uh, in it? Well, no, because the use doesn't fit to the zoning analysis. Uh, so then the question becomes easements and building heights. Building heights are kind of interesting. They aren't always directly listed. In fact, um, uh, some places do it only through FAR, but essentially that's their way of uh, regulating building heights, and it'll say that's their way of regulating building heights. So building heights are uh, certainly part of the zoning analysis. Easements, but easements seems like that, that should be part of the zoning analysis. The trick here is the word zoning analysis. Um, you're not saying site analysis, you're saying zoning analysis. Um, and the easements are an interesting little sort of side part about all this stuff, which is it is not part of the zoning code. An easement is a contract between uh, um, different entities, and the easement rides on the deed. So, for example, let's say I have a... Um, electrical line easement going through a property. Uh, that is um, something where I can't, I can't say, or let's say, let's use a different one. Let's say uh, somebody wants to put a driveway because they can't get to their property uh, with a, to the street. Uh, so we give them, we, we make a deal with them. We say, all right, you give us uh, uh, $25,000 and we'll let you build a driveway through our property on to, to, to get to your property. So we would be essentially giving them an easement. Uh, to be able to use part of our property. It doesn't mean they own the property, just they have the, the right to use it. Um, well, that's great, but then if, uh, if that wasn't done correctly, if it wasn't actually like a true easement where it went and rode on the deed, uh, then let's say I like turn around the next day and sell the property. And so I walk away with 25 grand and the next owner is like, well, I don't want you driving across my property. But if it is part of the deed, then uh, when I sell the property, I'm selling it with that easement. So a site analysis would include all of these things, including the easements. Um, hopefully, most of the time, they would show up on the surveys because the surveyor would have uh, uh, done a, a review of uh, the deed. Um, they don't always, so you got to be a little careful. Uh, but a site analysis would include all of them. A zoning analysis would include uh, A, B, and D. So. Uh, the big issue we're going to have here uh, is going to be easements um, because um, uh, that's not necessarily part of the uh, uh, zoning code. Um, now, you, that, that you could uh, analyze that a couple different ways. Don't get overly worried about it. Um, I, it was mostly an opportunity for me to talk about the idea of easements. Um, so uh, it, it can get used in a couple different ways, but there is a difference between easements and zoning. Now, thank you, Mike, uh, and thanks to all of you who have tuned in. And if you'd like to attend our next ARE live broadcast, visit blackspectacles.com slash podcast to register. Uh, you'll have a chance to ask questions and share your answers with Mike for live feedback during the broadcast, just like today. Um, and to learn more about our AIA ARE prep curriculum, go to blackspectacles.com. Uh, we'll uh, include, a note, uh, include a link in the show notes. Uh, and for those of you who are ready and, and want to go ahead and get busy preparing for the ARE, 
Uh, you can use a coupon, uh, a 15% coupon off the first charge on any AIA ARE prep membership with code 52715webinar. That's 52715webinar. Uh, and that'll expire on June 15th. Um, and of course, if you're already an AIA member, you can visit AIA.org slash ARE prep to get a 30% discount for the entire duration of your AIA ARE prep membership, not just the first charge. Um, and that also uh, expires on June 15th. Um, and finally, uh, please leave a comment below the video to let us know what you think um, and share any suggestions um, that you may have. I promise uh, we'll read every word that you write and use them to tune our next episodes. Uh, so thanks for watching.